Hello BI friends and welcome to another video about the integration of cloud and on-premise sources. In this scenario we are going to look into connecting your cloud FNO database with on-premise data source in a form of AX2012 R3. This is a schema of data transformation and on the top there is an FNO where we have to install extension which provides export to the lake. Either uh, we export tables into a storage account which is hosting the CSV files. From here a synapse is going to run a query, an open row set query which will read the CSV file and insert these CSV files as SQL table into the staging area. Now this process is fully automated which means that uh, creating a query to load the staging area and uh, doing the transformation is done automatically. However, selecting a table which has to be exported as a time of the recording is still a manual process. Hopefully there will be an API that will allow selecting it programmatically. Now the on-premise source can be either AirHive or Live. You know, it must be 2012 R3 to support the connector that BFO Dynamics has built to load the data from this database. If your AX2012 R3 is an AirHive database, then you upload the database into a SQL server hosted on a Zoom virtual machine. That's also where our data warehouse is hosted. Now, if your AX database is still alive, then it probably is the best not to move AX server to the cloud, but to provide a fast upload connection so that data can be updated in a proper manner, which means fast. In every case, we are loading the data incrementally so that we only upload the delta. Now within the data warehouse we are doing the transformation. Either this is one or many data sources, doesn't really matter much. Transformations are the same and the end result uh, is uh, in the tables hosted in a tabular model. When we are loading the data, we provide all information from all application area including uh, document level, granularity, all financial dimensions. We support up to 15 financial dimensions, everything that BFO Dynamics provide as a content. The settings is everything that needs to be done in order to facilitate merging the cloud and on-premise data. This is a setting where we select through a settings a cloud source with Contoso Azure as a company that we are going to use and with our on-premise database which is hosted on the same virtual machine in a database called AX2012 R3 this is the name of the database we are selecting the companies that we want to load into BFO Dynamics Data Warehouse during this setup we can select reporting currency that may be different than it was set up in FNO and also we are mapping financial dimensions first selecting the corporate global dimensions with a proper name so there is no ambiguity about the names and this is actually anyhow in uh, AX or FNO. Everything that happens in the loading part is happen happening in the background. So the script that loads the data is generated automatically based on the columns that we need, based on the tables, table types and all the data warehouse properties that needs to be done to load the tables fast in a proper manner with the right format and insert them in the staging area. This is of course the part that is not visible to the users and just works. The end result are uh, data transformed table in tabular database which we connect with Excel, Power BI or any other tool. In our case this is Excel connecting to the uh, model and as data source 1 we can see the cloud name. The second data source is uh, a local database 
these are the companies that we have selected and these are the transactional values in the retail and in receivables now here we can see better by the date that uh, data source uh, that is hosting the historical data was active till the end of December 21 and the new data start coming in the February 2020. This is also a good opportunity to use a new PFO Dynamics functionality such as perspective, partitions, in, in our case calculation groups. What if your archive database is not 2012 R3 but it's one of the oldest databases. In that case BFO Dynamics do not have a connector that would join the two databases where we do provide a standalone solution for each of these solutions. So in that case we would agree which application area you want to integrate, which transactional table you want to integrate into BFO Dynamics and do a custom project. We would probably spend between two and five days per application area. It really depends on the scope of the integration. And this is something that we would discuss with the customer. Now, there is more about integration process than just pure technical integration. And this is what I would like to highlight because this is here this is where you can have problems or do it right. Now, first thing that's very noticeable is that technical and business process bring change. Technical process brings change to business uh, process. It means that apart from the opening statement for receivables payables in inventory, most of the time is definitely going to be spent on mapping uh, old and new dimensions, dimension attributes. And that's kind of consuming. That's done by uh, IT team usually. Uh, and uh, at the same time, there is a good uh, time to fix errors, erroneous transactions. It is a good time to fix erroneous transactions because you may have like quantities in trillions and then you also reverse it but not in the same day or in the same period so the averages will go uh, extremes and you know the, the charts will not be uh, as informative as it would be uh, and also uh, once you move the data uh, once you keep data in all system which users of course can access but they want to see the data integrated there'll be more demand more demand uh, because the reporting is moving from ERP to BI for the reporting they will be using in sometimes users start to use for pure operational uh, uh, reporting the BI which is something could be still done in FNO uh, but knowing that uh, the uh, update time of the BC or ERP especially of the Dynamics FNO uh, it's slow you can open like uh, receivables and it can take you half an hour to you know print or say 1000 pages which is drag and drop in dynamics so definitely in, in this case you will have a positive impact on on business apart from this there are a few more technical aspects we definitely have to check the data warehouse health by health uh, by definition of health i mean that everything that goes into this data warehouse this is the count of staging tables should go out this is a count of dimensional tables so if this is the same if there is no difference then we say system is healthy which means we didn't do something wrong in the modeling which with integration can quickly happen and the same situation is for the data warehouse transactional tables or dimensions this is something you have to keep an eye on every time you do customizations and you should have a system in place that you can quickly monitor the differences if they are or check that everything is fine another aspect is you have to monitor processing time in our case in BFO Dynamics we are measuring loading stage creating indexes data warehouse dimension and uh, data warehouse fact processing we can simply see if everything is in the same range as before then everything is fine but suddenly if you get something like empty or very high you have to go to the details you have to go to the store procedure we monitor each store procedure that is executing and see 
whether it was just like uh, you forgot to remove the filter or there was uh, something wrong and the number of rows inserted is zero and you know that's why it was you know zero also in the processing time or anything and uh, the system of monitoring supports also monitoring uh, tabular database where a processing table is monitored just like if you're looking into the profiler we have all this information in these cases a processing time in minutes by a table and event subclass at every point it's really nice to have uh, the documentation and BF Dynamics will create the documentation for you just with one click so you can see this is one hundred pages uh, we can see what is the source and the settings and one for example sales analysis it gives you the information about the structures of the object measure group dimensions how this is built and going to the details about uh, all the definition of either measures dimensions uh, t sql dex anything it is uh, here